Welcome, everybody. My name is Ali with Bag of Tricks Entertainment. Thank you for joining us. It's Friday night just after 9 o'clock Central Time. We are going to be playing some general knowledge trivia here in just a second. Before we go any further, if you haven't yet, make sure you join our online game. Here on YouTube is where you'll hear and see me ask the questions. But in order to actually participate, you need to join the online game. It's very simple to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, just open up any internet browser. Go to online.bagatrix.com. And put in the code you see at the bottom of the screen, Tricks 3 T R I C K S three. If you follow the link from Facebook, you won't have to put in that code. But however you get there, once you're there, it's going to ask you for three pieces of information. The first is going to be your name. Now, this is going to be the name that you go by during the game tonight. So that could be your team name, your name, whatever you want to do. The second is your state that you're playing from. And the last one, or country, I see Marcus out there. So I know we have some people from different countries. What's up, Marcus? Thanks for being here. I know it's very early in the morning, your time, and you're out of beers. Oh, out no. Of beers. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and the last one here is the loyalty number. So if you don't have a Begatrix loyalty program number, you can sign up. There is a link in the description of this video. It's a free program, and we use that to track your taco bucks, which is how you can actually earn real-life prizes. If you don't have one, sign up. If you do, put it, it, uh, put it in that blank there and then hit go once you see this screen you're all set it'll say the game will begin shortly once you see this screen there's nothing else you need to do all that needs to happen is i need to start the game and i will do that here in a few minutes uh i'm gonna uh take a minute here because i know we have a lot of people that will be joining us in just a second i saw john h gave me a heads up um, that a lot of people were joining from the Citadel of Trivia. So thank you guys for making it over here. I'm still wanting to join one of your guys' games. Um, the last time you did one, I was hosting an event. Tonight, I was hosting an event. Uh, but I do want to make one to Citadel of Trivia. And uh, we're also waiting on a lot of other regular trivia players who are doing a fundraiser that is finishing up right now. So we will get this started here in just a second. Uh, let me see who's already out there. Hey, Middleton, Lens, Julie, E, David, Sarah, Benjamin. Emma, Matt Whalen, what's up? Hey, Brian Rudder, back from the dead. What's up, my man? Welcome. I uh, see Marcus is out there, out of beers. I'm sorry. Hey, Jedi Snips. Sword in the Darkness, thank you for being back. John J, dun, 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 Friday the 13th. I was just telling Gina, the last time we had a Friday the 13th was Friday, March 13th of 2020, uh, and that one did not bode well. Many bad things happened very shortly after that. So hopefully this Friday the 13th has been better to you uh, and will be better to you over the next days, weeks, and months to come. Uh, so as long as you're on the online game, you're all set. I'm just going to go over a few things before we get started. And again, while we're waiting for a bunch more people to join, we already have about 40 people here. So thank you so much for being here. Once again, if you're just joining us, my name is Ali with Bag of Tricks Entertainment. I am not here alone. Taco is here with me. Uh, let me move this over. Uh, my wife Gina is also here in the room. So Hi. she says hello. Uh, she's in the comments. Give her a big shout out. Give her a thank you for being here. She's on the keyboard while I'm just hanging out drinking on camera. Woo. She's doing the hard work. I'm having I have fun. I use my, uh, what skills? <laughs> Finger clicking skills? <laughs> Typing skills? We've been drinking a little. A lot. I've been drinking since like motor skills. Motor skills, yeah. <laughs> I gosh, I haven't been drinking that much. Oh, I have. It's been a Monday of a Friday. It's been a Monday of a Friday. I couldn't have put it better myself. Um, so what we're doing tonight is general knowledge trivia. These questions are about anything and everything. Uh, some of these questions will be easy. Some of these questions will be tough. Sorry, I don't know what's happening with my system right now. Um, we're gonna get to that in just a second. I want to go over a few things first. First and foremost. Thank you all for being here, not just tonight, but this week. We've had a great show, of course, uh, in terms of people coming out and playing trivia, and we really, really appreciate it. Secondly, 
thank you all for the donations. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there are links down below me right here, Venmo, PayPal, and Zelle. We do not charge you to play these trivia games. We are just here solely for your entertainment. But unfortunately, it isn't free for us. We have to pay for the systems that we use to host. So those donations and sends that uh, those donations and uh, tips that you guys send go a really long way towards helping us continue to do this for as long as possible. Um, so obviously we're all staying home for as long as possible and we wanna bring trivia directly to you in your computer at your home. Uh, and so when you guys send any donation, big or small, any tip, big or small, it goes a really long way towards allowing us to do this for uh, the future. And I already saw a few come through tonight. Thank you so much, Kathleen. We really appreciate your donation. Thank you so much. Um, if you feel so inclined, my friends, those links will be here all night. Venmo, PayPal, and Zelle. You don't have to pay to play. This game is open to everybody. But if you want to, I'm going to leave those links up uh, all night for you. Um, nextly, oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Patrick. Um, we have a bunch of fun events coming up, not just next week, but over the next few weeks. So I mentioned that we're going to be doing more themed trivia. Um, we do general knowledge trivia pretty regularly, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday nights. And we have the yeah, trivia fundraisers uh, thrown in throughout on random days. Next week, we're actually going to have a trivia fundraiser on Thursday, the 19th. We've done one for them already, and we're doing another one for DuPage pads. Um, this is in combination with commonwealth edison comed is helping us put this on and we're raising money for an awesome organization called dupage pads we'll have information on that on facebook very soon but check that out that's going to be a fun one and then this is going up on facebook tomorrow i imagine it's going to be a big one so i want to give you guys a heads up so you can click it and be ready to go we will be having friends trivia online with a focus on the Thanksgiving episodes of Friends. And we're gonna be doing that on the night before Thanksgiving, Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Central, just before Thanksgiving here in the United States. I know Canada has a different Thanksgiving, but just before Thanksgiving Thursday uh, here in the United States. So that will be Wednesday the 25th. We'll be doing Friends Giving Trivia is what we're gonna call it at nine o'clock on 11.25, so that'll be on Facebook soon. Check that out, and also be sure to check out uh, General Knowledge Trivia. We do it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, with all of that said, thank you guys so much for the donations. Thanks for being here tonight. Let's get to this game. So here's how it works. Tonight's game is a combination of multiple choice questions and text questions, and what that means is the very first round that we do, I will ask you a question. Once I start the question timer, you'll see four options appear on the screen. One of those is going to be the correct answer. All you have to do is click on the answer that is correct. If you are right, you're going to earn up to 150 points. If you're wrong, you earn zero points. Um, you don't lose points if you're wrong. So if you're not sure what answer is correct, just take a guess. You have a one in four shot. But be careful because if you click on an answer, you can't change it. So if you click on A, you can't change it to B or C or D. And that's important because you also earn points based on how quickly you answer. It starts at 150 points maximum. Once I start the timer and the answers pop up, the sooner you click, the more points you'll earn if you're correct. So if the answer is A and you click A very quickly, you're going to earn more points than somebody else who clicks A 10 seconds after you. Um, but again, as I mentioned, you need to be careful because if you click B and the answer is A, you can't change it. It's stuck. You got to go with that. Um, the questions will change as we get into the later rounds, and I'll explain that when we get there. But this first round, every question is worth 150 points. Uh, tonight's game is sponsored by the incredible Downtime Coffee out of Lockport, Illinois. My favorite. Oh, mine too. If you haven't checked them out, they are on Instagram. You can follow them at Downtime Coffee. It is a very small craft local roastery roasting different single origin beans regularly pretty much every week out of their garage in Lockport you can purchase the beans online for $12 a bag or uh, for pickup or $20 a bag shipped anywhere you want in the United States uh, anybody international if you're interested let me know and I'll let them know at downtime coffee uh, and we can figure that out but it's delicious. This week they have a D Democratic Republic of Congo bean out of the Brambo Village. It's delicious, sultry, smooth, very full-bodied, but 
sweet and acidic. Uh, so check that one out. There's only two bags left. They'll be roasting a new bean out of Panama, actually. A new Panama bean here in the next few days. Can't wait to try it. So check that out. And if you haven't yet, follow them on Instagram. It's the only place you can find them right now, at Downtime Coffee. Thank you so much to the incredible folks at Downtime Coffee for sponsoring tonight's event. They sent me this word. Did you say sultry? I did say sultry. Oh. I did, because that's what it tastes like. Sultry coffee. Um, okay, let me go on to live chat. Let me see who else is out here. Holy shit, there's no way I can say hi to everybody. That's um, a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Hey, Mary B, welcome. Charles Bolf, welcome back. Hey, Bobby Kate, long time no see. A whole numero dos. Uh, Pamela, thank you for the donation. Uh, Joe, thank you for the donation. Um, he said also, our dog knocked over our mixed drink pitcher because he was, he was jealous. We were looking at the computer and not at him. Ooh. Uh, this is Joe who sent us a donation. Thank you, oh, Joe. No. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Stephanie House. Thank you, Billy House. Uh, oh, that wasn't that was different. Uh, but thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, and here we go. We're gonna get this game started. The very first question that you see is going to be a practice question, and all that means is that it's not worth any points. Um, sorry, we're starting a few minutes late. I was purposefully delaying because I wanted to make sure everybody had a chance to join. Uh, especially those of you who were supporting our trivia fundraiser that just ended. So here we go. The very first question coming up on your screen is a practice question. This one is not worth any points. It is just for those of you who may be joining us for the first time or the first time in a long time. Uh, so you can see what the questions look like and how they work. You won't see the answers until I start the timer. Here we go. First question on the screen. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for being here. Uh, the first question, again, this is a practice question. What is the name of your host tonight? That is me. What is my name? This is not worth any points. This one's just for fun. What is the name of your host tonight? Am I Leonard, Sheldon, Howard, or Ali? Answering this, this is not worth any points. Now, while this is going, let me see if I can find some more people to say hello to. Um, Tolk is 420. Welcome back. Lindsay Davis, welcome. Hey, uh, Chris B., Steph Curtis, Mary B., Jen Sterna, and Jen's husband, Sterna, welcome. John H., Taco, lay down. Let's take a look at Taco. Uh, actually, we got the both camps here. Uh, Benjamin, welcome back. Middleton Lens, Christmas in July. Yes, we're going to be doing Christmas in December soon. Oh, God, shoot me. Uh, Jess, Angelica, and John, welcome. Uh, you've been drinking, as have I. Uh, glad that the, the pads, uh, not pads, the um, pause fundraiser went well tonight. Emma, Emma, welcome. Who else is out here? Christiane, welcome from the other fundraiser. There are so many people here tonight, guys. This yeah, is fantastic. I, You're making I'm my really night. Pleased with it. Yeah. It's a very nice Friday now. Bobby, Kate, welcome, welcome, welcome. Dwayne, welcome. Yeah, I'm going to give up. If I didn't say your name, I'm sorry. I tried to look at everyone. I couldn't keep up. As you can see, we had five people say Leonard, four people say Sheldon, 12 people say Howard, and 40 people said Ali. We have 61 people playing right now on a Friday night. Thank you guys so much for, be for being here. Uh, if this was worth points, 40 of you would have got them because my name is Ali. Great job. All right, here we go. 10 random questions, multiple choice. Number two, which arcade, uh, which classic arcade game consists of a chomping character who must eat all the dots inside a maze while avoiding four ghosts. Some of these questions are easy, some are tough. This is an easy one. What is the game we are describing here? Is it Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, Gauntlet, or Pac-Man? Eleanor Rigby. Um, uh, quick note, if this happens to be your first time, there will be questions uh, there will be pictures next to the questions or gifts next to the questions like you see here and they are not meant to be Hints or tips. This guy isn't giving you any type of tip as to what question it is Just because he has a PlayStation controller doesn't mean it's a PlayStation game So I don't want you to read into it. You are just enjoying the gifts. They're there for fun Don't say Julie <laughs> uh, People are taking the stay at home. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, everybody's in. And this is a double social. Nobody missed it. The correct answer is Pac-Man. Cheers, everybody. That's two drinks. 
All right, question number three, second real question of the evening. Appearing in writings as far back as the 5th century BCE, what was Ponce de Leon supposedly looking for when he traveled to Florida in 1513? What was Ponce de Leon looking for when he traveled to Florida back in 1513? Was it the spring of eternity, El Dorado, Atlantis, or the fountain of youth? Yes, Inky, Pinky, Winky, and Clock. Inky. I switched it again. I like this one better. But we would Stephanie and Crystal. Yeah, we would keep. Abby yeah, Stephanie, and would, Stephanie, you know, Crystal, you know, Crystal Abby, happens. the lenses, the Middletons. You guys would stay, but everybody else, <laughs> you can float off of Florida. Uh, three people said the Spring of Eternity. Four people said El Dorado. <laughs> spring Break and Cheap Beer. Yeah, Daytona Beach. Yeah, yeah. The correct answer is the Fountain of Youth. Good job. 55 of you got that right. 89% of you. Question number four. Which British musician played the character an Australian bush ranger named Ned Kelly in the 1970 film of the same name? 1970 film Ned Kelly. Who played the title character an Australian bush ranger? Was it David Bowie? Keith Richards, Mick Jagger, or Tom Jones? Just watched a film on the Kelly Gang. Well, let's see if you get this right, Emma. All right, everybody's in. Uh, eight people said Keith Richards. 17 people said Mick Jagger. 18 people said Tom Jones. 19 people said David Bowie. So this was split three ways. Um, the correct answer was Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger. Look at this guy. Ned Kelly back in 1970. Mick wow. Jagger. Yeah. Very distinct yes, so yes, lovely. yes, yes. All right, great job. If you got that, you got points. Thank you for the donations. Somebody else just sent one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you for the donations. Helps us out a lot. Question number five. In the film Lord of the Rings, what was Gollum's original name? Before he was Gollum, uh, I believe he was a different hobbit. What was Gollum's original name? Was he Valhum, Bilbo? Trahald or Schmeagel? Moves like Mick Jagger. He moves like himself. Yes, Mary. Nice. Moves like himself. Becky saw the film in her class, Australian Bush Rangers 201. It's a little advanced. Did you continue on to 301 or did you just stop there, Becky? 101, 201. Good enough. I do not heart Gollum. I appreciate that you do. It would surprise you that I no, I, you are <laughs> the biggest empath in the world. Uh, one person said Val I Coon. Him. I just, no, no, it's there. You can heart him. Two people I, said uh, Trahal. Enjoy the character. <laughs> Five people said a different um, hobbit, which was Bilbo, but that's not correct. The correct answer was Schmeagle. Schmeagle, which uh, he killed Deagle. <laughs> Didn't have time due to Lord of the Rings 301. All right, question number five is done. So let's take a look at the standings. Nuts to you, McGilla something. Uh, let me take a look. Probably McGillicuddy. Yeah, Lucy. Uh, nuts to you, McGillicuddy. In first, can we get a game all about Harry Styles? Oh. Here's what I would do. Playing? Here's what I would do is I would say yes to that, but then I would do an entire game of hairstyles. What's the name of this hairstyle? The Rachel. What's the name of this hairstyle? The B-52. Um, yes, we can do a game all about Harry Styles. Uh, in second, tied to the point. 577 apiece. Mary B is there too. The Angelicas, Artie and Winnie in fourth. This is the worst name in fifth. Tolkas in sixth. Sam Sucks in seventh. Fire Breathing Rubber Duckies in eighth. 
We have tired teachers everywhere, but currently in ninth place. Ritz Carlton Small Engine Repair. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot to have children. I love that. In 11th. Uh, Mother Trucker in 11th. Uh, sorry. Uh, Sorella Sand tied in 12th with this heating pad is my one true friend. I like that. SF Curtis. Magic Beans. Half Amber Sand. Spelled out half. Julius Pepperwood. Quarantine. Tied for 17th. More like Borantine. Jedi Snips tied with Please Don't Touch My Dog uh, in 19th. Also tied with It's Over Bananakin. Uh, two teams tied in four. Uh, we've never had so many ties. Two teams tied in 22nd. The B Team and Cookies and Cream. Squeak Bum Time in 24th. Tied with Hussera. Geralt of Trivia in 26th. Camp Crystal Lake in 27th. Ah, uh, Werewolves in Lockdown in 28th. Tied with Fallout Cat. Eight months of desperately needing a night out. They, I remember when their team name was just desperately needing a night out. Uh, in 30th, Miss Laraka tied with Sword in the Darkness. Keithar, Team Cream, Steffi Star tied in 34th. Jennifer in 36th. Chubby Bunny. OMG, I forgot to have children in 38th. Suck it, Trebek. Aww. In 39th, Pandas Cuddling. Keeping that PG team name for tonight. In 40th, Three Blind Mive. In 41st, KT in 42nd, Mama Lens in 43rd. My dog kicked over my drink while making this name. I know who that is. In 44th, tied with Cath Attack. Spaders in 46th, Bobby Kate in 47th, JMO, Ducky, Aces and Sleeves rounding out the top 50. Proud Regressive, team name in 51st, tied Count Von Recount, one volt, ha, 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 in 53rd. Bostco in 54th. Spy Fox in 55th, tied with Funky Town. Allen in 57th. A whole numero uno in 58th. I thought this was speed dating in 59th. Simply the best. Oh. In 60th, Sambuca and Salsa. What's up? In 61st, Mert and Learn in 62nd. And Cheddar Butter Burgers in 63rd. I don't think I've ever worked as hard as I just did to read all those team names. Cheddar Burger Burgers. Cheddar Burger Burgers. Yeah. Uh, so just so you know, so you guys don't all peace out of here right now. I'm not going to read every team name every time. I just did it the first time because A, A, I wanted you guys to hear all those team names and B, I love the team names. I wanted to read them out. Um, from this point on, I'll really just give you the update. I'll let you see it on your own, but I'll read out the top few teams. Uh, I won't read all of them every time. Here we go. We're going to finish out multiple choice round, starting out with question number six. As of this Year, Argentine-born Lionel Messi ooh, currently plays for which European club? Sports. This is a football or soccer question, if you will. Football. Yeah, football. Lionel Messi currently plays for which European club? Is it Barcelona, Juventus, Real Madrid, or Liverpool? Oh, I missed everything you guys have been saying. Take time to say hello to us all. Yes, hello, hello. Who's got a kazoo? Football is for suckers. I'd like to get him messy. <laughs> Don't even know what that means. Wow, he's a good looking. Soccer, I would, I would put out there... And let me know if you think I'm wrong. But I think that football as a sport, as in soccer football, international football, uh -huh. the beautiful sport, has the best looking players. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's another sport that comes close. Mm -hmm. I mean, football, baseball, basketball, badminton, so roller I enjoy, derby. I enjoy soccer, football, yeah. but I never watch it. And the other day I was listening to NPR and I heard an interview with um, Megan Rapone. Yeah, and yeah. now like she's dating a WNBA player. She's engaged. Engaged WNBA. But now player. I just like want to watch all the women's soccer. Yeah, absolutely. I love her so much. Yeah, I fucking love it. I tried. I'll let you know. Uh, sorry guys, if you're playing Vegatrix trivia yeah. for the first time, we don't get through these questions quickly. We chat. Um, I tried. I tried really hard to get into football, and I started with the English Premier League. And I was a gunner. I was all for Arsenal, and I was watching and loving it. And I couldn't even keep up with their fucking team lineup let alone figuring out where everyone was and then the country oh god it's such a good sport but there's so many teams 
Um, great job, everybody. Barcelona is the correct answer. Uh, we are here. It feels like an, a year ago we started this question. Barcelona, uh, not Real Madrid. Uh, great um, rivalry, though. Juventus and Liverpool, both incorrect. Question seven. In the video for girls just want to have fun, where are my WWF fans at? What pro wrestling star played Cindy Lauper's father? Taking you back to the 80s. Huge song. Hit number one. The music video for Girls Just Want to Have Fun. What pro wrestling star played Cindy Lauper's father? Was it Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Captain Lou Albano, or Randy Savage? I'm a chat EB. Yes, I am, Lindsay. I haven't seen Ted Lasso. No, it's on Apple TV and we don't have it. A freaking gunner. Yeah, the Swedish guy talking about it. I know, I know, Marcus. I just, I like them, you know? What can I say? I had to choose one and go with it. Wait, is everybody's internet garbage? My internet's working great. Well, we have the same, yeah. <laughs> Four people said Andre the Giant. Nine people said Randy Savage. Twelve people said The Hulkster. And 36 people said Captain Lou Albano. The correct answer was Captain Lou. Captain Lou. Hulk Hogan was everything else in the 80s except Cindy Lauper's father. Um, Andre the Giant, just a huge man. Uh, Randy Savage from Downers Grove, Illinois, if you're local. Uh, Captain Lou Albano. Cindy Lauper loved him. Said that she owed a lot of success for this song to him being in the video. Whether that was true or not, who knows. But she said it. Uh, question number eight. Washington, D.C., is nestled between Maryland and what other U.S. state? I'm sorry, Marcus and our <laughs> international friends. Washington, D.C. is nestled between Maryland and what other state? Is it Virginia, Pennsylvania, Delaware, or New Jersey? He managed her in a WrestleMania match. Nice, Benjamin. Yes. I hosted, um, for you wrestling fans out there, I hosted a WWE trivia once, and I had a team, and as sad as this is, kind of morbid, every time they turned in their answer sheet, if the answer was a wrestler, they wrote if they were alive or dead. Because, like, half of the professional wrestlers yeah. that have ever existed are dead. It's when, insane. Who? Julie. Um, question 10, right? Julie, yeah. After we do question 11, question 11, you can okay. go for a refill. Uh, Washington, D.C. is in between Maryland and Virginia. Not Delaware, sorry. Maryland and Virginia. Uh, Julie, once we do question 11, we'll do the standings. You can go for a refill. Question 9. On Billboard's ranking of the top disco songs of all time, what artists claimed the top six spots? So Billboard uh, gave out a list of the top disco songs of all time. Which artist had all six top spots was it the Bee Gees Donna Summer Sheik or Gloria Gaynor yeah sickeningly awesome Benjamin is correct uh, at the first round I was like what the hell are you doing and then by the fourth round I was like oh I'm interested to know like who's still alive and who's dead oh Julie will you survive you will survive yes you will <laughs> Ooh, John H., good call. Freak out. All right, 40 people. Ooh, interesting. 40 people said the Bee Gees. Three people said Gloria Gaynor. What do you think it is? I think it's Donna Summer. Yeah, 15 people said the only person on this list whose nickname is the Queen of Disco, Donna Summer. Donna Summer has the top six spots. Yes, she is the queen of disco. Uh, Bobby Pitt, I, <laughs> I didn't survive. <laughs> Thanks to one of the worst Broadway shows I've ever seen. Yeah, that's fair. She's no disco stew, but disco stew, uh, spoiler alert, hates disco. Uh, we find out in The Simpsons. All right, question 10. The State Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg, Russia, was founded by which ruler? In 1764, the State Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg, Russia, was founded by which ruler in 1764? Was it Ivan the Terrible, Peter the Great, Catherine the Great, or Alexander the Second? This is a straight-up history question. I like the, yeah, it makes me want winter. Right? But not winter in Russia. 
<laughs> Putin. Putin would have you believe it was him. Becky, I couldn't think of uh, more than one song that she has. Uh, let's see. MacArthur Park, I Feel Love, No More Tears, Last Dance. I feel love in Last Dance. Hot Stuff, Sunset People, Dinner with Gershwin. She works hard for the money. I will go with you when love cries. The woman in me loves unkind. Oh, yeah, there's a few. And Upside Down. That was Donna Summer, right? Upside yeah. Down. Upside Down. I fucking love that song. Uh, eight people said Ivan the Terrible. Eight people said Alexander the Second. Eighteen people said Catherine the Great. Twenty-seven people said Peter the Great. Well, you chose the wrong great person. It's Catherine the Great. Catherine the Great. Upside Down by Jack Johnson. Uh, <laughs> Andrew the OK. <laughs> Uh, all right, one more question, and then Julie can go refill her drink. And Gina. And Gina, and Ollie. Number 11. I, I'm just kidding, it's not empty. What play by Shakespeare features the famous line, to be or not to be? That is the question. Is it Othello, The Tempest, Hamlet, or Macbeth? Hey, there you go, Matt. Context clues. Guys, um, how many of you came from the fundraiser trivia uh, for the Bridge Communities and the other uh, organization? Did somebody win? Did somebody who's here win? I didn't have a chance to check. Oh, poor Yorick. Stephanie, ha wait. Oh, uh, you were. All Stephanie was there. Christiane was there. Chris was there. Third place, nice, Chris. I know first place was a uh, Dairy Queen gift card. That's probably the best prize we've had for a trivia yeah, that's night. Yeah, a good one. Uh, five people said Othello. Eight people said Macbeth. Forty-eight people said Hamlet, and you were correct. Good job. You know your Shakespeare. Okay, all right. This is the standings after the multiple choice round. Uh, this is a good opportunity. If you need to, go grab a drink, use the restroom. We will get into the next round here in just one second. Here we go. Mother Trucker is in first place. We have, this is the worst name, in second place. We have, can we get a game all about Harry Styles in third place? Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. If you need a drink, this is a good opportunity to go grab it. We're going to get the next round set up. Hey, Nick Payne, what's up? Uh, Chris, they thought we were cheating at one point. Yeah, you know what? Be honored if they think you're cheating. If you're not cheating and people think you're cheating at trivia, that means you're doing really well. Taco did wake up. Anytime Gina walks out of the room, this is what he does. I could leave, I could leave the country and he wouldn't move. Gina moves 10 feet really and he move. loses his shit. Here, you, you. Lay down. Wait, do you really? I usually do. If you need more green, just let me know. No, okay, thank you. Uh, well, naturally, Nick. Most secure trivia ever. Yep. If you're cheating and people don't think you are, you need to work on your cheat. <laughs> nice joke. All right, trivia fraud. I'm gonna. I'm bringing my lawyers. We're gonna look into this. We're gonna sue the trivia association. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Taco didn't like that. Look how he's surrounded by his monkeys. All right, uh, for my friends out there who have not played trivia before, things are going to change quite a bit. You, from this point on, will no longer have multiple choice options to choose from. That's the main difference. So what's gonna happen, I'm gonna still read you a question. I'm gonna start a 30 second timer. Once the timer starts, rather than seeing four options appear on the screen right here, you're gonna see a text box and you have to type your answer in. 
That's the major difference. If you are correct, you earn all the points that are available. If you are wrong, you earn none of the points. So take your time, try to spell your answers correctly. The only thing you can't do is cheat. No Googling, no looking up random answers. Um, I haven't mentioned tonight, but we are playing for prizes. We have taco bucks on the line. First, second, and third place. I know it's not a Dairy Queen gift card, but you win some taco bucks and you can turn those taco bucks into real prizes in the future. We have Bag of Tricks merchandise. We have pop culture merchandise, like that pizza sleeping mask right there. Uh, we have beer and brewery merchandise. We have in the middle of the screen there, the framed and autographed photo of Taco. Uh, he only made one of those, so one person's gonna win it, but you need 2,000 Taco Bucks to get it. Uh, the top Taco Bucks person right now, if I remember correctly, is the formerly accused of cheating Barbians, but they're not. Uh, they have 1,211.25. Jess and John have 1,125. Stephanie right behind him with 675, 627 for Christiane. Rich Hansen up there, Lindsey Davis. I keep saying this, but it is going to happen eventually. I'll post all of these uh, on our website, and you can check out where you're at, and you can start redeeming them for some real prizes. Um, so anyway, the next five questions are, like I mentioned, text questions. You have to type in the answer, and they all come from the same category. Tonight's category has to do with literature. Shout out to my librarians out there. I know we got a couple in the crowd. So what I'm going to do, we haven't done this type of, you're not going to see a cover of a book. You're not going to hear an author. I'm going to list off three books. You have to tell me who wrote them. All three books are the same author. I'm going to list oh, off three it. books. You have to tell me who wrote them. It's all the same author. Uh, they might be easy. They might be tough. Oh, another, uh, Courtney's out there. Jess, yeah, not from the 1860s. Well, actually, some of these might be from the 1860s. Chris B. and Julie, you got this. All right, some of these simple, some of these tough. They're worth 250 points apiece. You don't lose any points if you're wrong, so take a guess if you're not sure. Here we go. Number 12, name the author that gave us these books. Carrie, It, The Shining. All right, even if I knew it. Um, Julie brought up a funny memory that I totally forgot about. What's that? Uh, remember when that woman wrote that review and said that you should let all your friends <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, feels like, uh, that feels like it was nine years ago. Yes. Yeah, remember when that lady wrote the review saying I let my friends win because she couldn't win trivia? Christy, I heard anything about Christy's big idea. That's basically Oh. <laughs> I and it has read all three of these books this year. Oh. Like you. <laughs> oh, poor Nick Payne. You let your friends win and I've never won. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Uh, everybody's in. It's not Stephen Patterson. This is a misspelling. That's a misspelling. Um, this is probably my favorite author now. Um, he's up there. Let me make sure my other favorite author is not in this round. Yeah, uh, this guy is probably tied with Michael Crichton. Um, yeah, Stephen King. This is a giant social. This is a Carrie at the Shining social. Ooh, should we do a Shining social? That was kind of his downfall, right? Mm. And all of ours. Mm. Fair enough. Question 13. Name the author who gave us all three of these books. Along came a spider, four blind mice, and first to die. What author gave us all three of these? Yeah, let me know. Uh, who's your favorite authors? Let me know in the comment or the chat here. Yeah, Stephen King by far is my favorite. Is this my book here? Um, yeah, I started. Am I still on the screen here? Yeah, I started a checklist of every book that Stephen King has written. And I've been marking off them as I read them. So I'm getting, I'm doing well. There's a bunch. There's too many. I mostly do audiobooks. I do audiobooks while I walk and I woodwork. Um, but I'm, I'm making my way through Stephen King's bibliography. All right, everybody's in. Let's take a look. 
It's not Sue Grafton, Alex Cross, Wesley Snipes, Danielle Steele, Tom Clancy. It's not Jane, uh, Dean Kuntz. It's not J.D. Salinger, Banana Hammock, <laughs> Danielle Steele. It's not Shel Silverstein. Uh, it's not Steven Patterson, but the last name is all I'm really looking for, so you're going to get away with it here. The correct answer is James Patterson. James Patterson, the correct answer. All right. Number 14, name the author that gave us these three books, The Notebook, A Walk to Remember, Aww. Knights in Rodin. Who gave us these three books? Aww. A Walk to Remember, isn't that a sad movie? Yeah. Yeah, they're all sad. R.L. Stein, Morgan Freeman. I've never read any of this author's books, but I've seen two of those movies. Like I... the election, it's still not over. <laughs> it's not over. It was never over. I wrote you every day. Mother in action? Ooh. This author is trash. trash. Steph swinging. I love really things are trash. All right, everybody's in. The worst person ever, Hiller, Arnold Palmer, Pitter Patter. Let's get at her. It's Nicholas Sparks. And whether you like it or not, that's a social. 90% of you got it right. So cheers, everybody. Question 15. Name the author that gave us these books. War and Peace, The Death of Ivan Ilyich and Anna Karenina. Book with the blue cover oh my light. God, that, I feel like that transcends industries. Like, people will come into my job and be like, I need the wine with the red label. No, I'm looking for a supplement. It was a oh. white capsule. <laughs> <laughs> a supplement? It was green. Uh, no, it was, that one actually, I know which one that is. Immuno Shield. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> I should work a pass. All right, everybody's in. Yeah, it's just so people. Some Russian dude. Toy Story, that's pretty close. <laughs> Multiple people got autocorrected Toy Story. Um, but you're going to get points. It's not Dostoevsky. It's not some Russian dude. It is specifically Leo Tolstoy. Tolstoy, mixed up my Russian authors. Yes, Tolstoy. Who wrote Where's Waldo? Guys, I have a really important thing to say. Did you know that you can buy online a Where's Waldo book, but you send them a picture of your dog and they'll insert your dog into a Where's Waldo book and you have to find your dog. Christmas yeah, yeah, just so you know, that's a real thing. That's amazing. Yeah, you can send a picture of your dog, they make it into a little cartoon and then you have to find your dog in the Where's Waldo book. Uh, Steph Curtis, I'll have to figure it out uh, where it was. This is one of those probably random things I saw on Reddit, uh, but it happens. All right, here we go. Final author. Name the author that gave us Twilight, Breaking Dawn, and Eclipse. Who gave us Twilight, Breaking Dawn, and Eclipse? I found it. Where's Dog Name? A search and find book. Bonus points if you spell the first name right here. Oh, Stephanie H. out there trying to throw a hint. Mm -hmm. Typing is getting hard. hard. Yeah, Julie, welcome to my life an hour and a half ago. Uh, let's see. Stephanie, a.k.a. a queen. It's not Shel Silverstein. It's not Shoot vampire guy team edward Ooh, there we go let me know in the chat are you team edward or team jacob or team neither team edward team jacob or team neither let me know the correct answer was stephanie meyer great job here are the standings mother trucker still in first the angelica's in second this is the worst name in third everybody else take a look see where you're at 
Team Tyler's. <laughs> Wait, she spelled it with an E? Huh? Steph Annie? Is that what you're oh, saying? Oh, ooh, what? Oh, yeah, you're totally right. Ooh! I don't care for that. Oh. Well, at least you know I'm actually typing this stuff in because I messed it up twice. <laughs> Steph Annie Meyer. Uh, Camp Crystal Lake in fourth, SF Curtis in fifth. Can we get a game all about Harry Styles in sixth? Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We're going to get into the next round here in just a second. Big, big shout out really quickly to um, our Citadel of Trivia friends. Thank you for joining us after your own trivia. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you for coming out and hanging out and playing some general knowledge trivia. I don't think I have any George R. R. Martin trivia questions tonight. Um... But if I knew you were coming, maybe I would have thrown one in. Uh, all right, the next round is a picture round. And let's find out together what it is. What is it? Oh, it's a fun one. We're talking about celebrities. Celebrities. So for the final, uh, for the next picture round, five questions. We're going to do one at a time. I'm going to ask you to identify the individual in the picture. They all have something in common. Their first name is Richard. So the next round is name the famous Richard. Dick pick. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could call this the dick pick round. This is the dick pick round. Name the famous Richard. Holy shit, I didn't think of that. Uh, name the famous Richard. Here we go. Uh, for 250 points, if you are correct, what is the name <laughs> of this? Jesus I am here. What is the name of this famous Whoa, look Richard? At look at the hands I'm just doing. Look at the... That's also creepy. You can tell me just his first uh, last name or his first and last name. Either way. Yes, this is the dick pick round. Holy oh, shit. Jerry wasn't petted. What? Mm. Call up Aldi. Get him on the horn. Aldi. How could you? Aging. This Richard fascinates me. Oh, he I, disappeared. Yeah, but he's back. I listened to the whole podcast about Sounds it. Sounds like a baby. I mean, I don't blame him. If you want to just go away, you should go away. Sweating to the oldies. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> Full screen with the zoom. The correct answer here is Richard. You can give me just his last name or his first and last. So let me mark a lot of these right. <laughs> Simpsons quote. Love it. Not Richard. Fuck. This is Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons. That's a social. 93% of you got that right. Great job. Number 18. Name this famous Richard. What a cutie. Look wow, at him. Julie. Julie, you're in YouTube. <laughs> uh oh. Forgive it. Oh, not by Chris. Yeah, it's fine. We've all done it. Ooh, Jess said yawn. That's fair. He does not do it for me either. No? No. That's good, because I look nothing like him. Rich oh, every single person got this, which means we're taking two drinks. The correct answer is Richard Gear. Richard Gear. Che Jesus. Cheers, everybody. Number 19. Name this famous Richard. A truly social. Oh, he's dreamy. Oh, okay. Oh, Jess, I feel you. I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm I'm smelling what you're stepping in. I figured it out. All 
All right, everybody's in. A lot of different ways you could spell this. This is Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor, huge comedian. Legendary comedian. Question 20, name this Richard. This is a tough one. Wow, I thought this was tough, but apparently you guys said, fuck you, Ali. We don't think this is tough. Uh, this is not. We spared no expense. Dick hole, damn it. The old guy from Jurassic Park. Yes, 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 yes. Richard Harris, dinosaur, John Hammond. That is his character's name, Richard. Richard. No, it is Richard Attenborough. Uh, this is the older brother of David Attenborough, famous for narrating the uh, uh, famous nature documentaries like Life, um, Life on Earth, Blue Light, lots of different nature documentaries narrated by his younger brother. Uh, let me see if I can find it. really quickly. Oh yeah, that's adorable. Look at this. Look at this cute picture of them together. Oh, brotherly love. Oh, that's cute. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So older one is John Hammond in Jurassic Park. Younger one, that just soothing voice on all the nature documentaries you love to watch. Yeah. All right, final question in this round. Number 21. Name this famous Richard. I lied. I do have a question for our Citadel of Trivia friends. Mm -hmm. You should do well here. This is somebody after your own heart. You've got this. I completely forgot. But yes, my Song of Ice and Fire friends, you should do okay here. Hopefully you know his name. The wolf, the young wolf. All right, everybody's in. R.I.P. Lord Stark, yes. Richard Game of Thrones, no. Rob Stark, yes. Uh, this was the Young Wolf. Oh, oh, my heart. Richard Madden, Rob with two Bs, Stark. Richard Madden. He's also been in many other films and TV shows by now. Yeah, Bodyguard, Sarah, I was just gonna mention that. Bodyguard on Netflix. He has some boy band here. Yeah, he does. All right, let's take a look at the standings. The Angelicas, Eliza and Peggy. That's not what it says, but that's what I sang. In first, Mother Trucker. In second, Geralt of Trivia. Every time I see that team name, I want to go downstairs and play Witcher 3. Uh, let's see. Who's in fourth? Currently, Steffi. Steffi Star in fifth. Mary B. This is the worst name in sixth. Can we get a game all about Harry Styles in seventh? Sorella Stan. Sorella Sand, it's over Bananakin and suck at your back rounding out the top 10. It's okay. Now we need to get two more cats. Name them Eliza and Peggy. You get one and we'll get one. How about that? <laughs> Scottish accents are hot AF, says Sarah. Agreed. All right, here we go. The final round of questions, my friends. These are 10 random questions about anything and everything. You still have to type the answer in. We're going to do one at a time. And unlike the previous two rounds, uh, these are not five questions with uh, something connecting them together. These are 10 random questions about anything and everything. These are worth the most points of the night. So please... Keep it fair. Keep it honest. No Googling, no searching, no asking your... Alexa, what time is it? 
I want to see how many Alexas start talking back to people. Wow. Yeah, I know. Being a dick. Uh, so no asking your Alexa. Richard. No asking. No or Richard Madden. No asking your Google she devices. Says Emma. No Googling. 957. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Brian says thank you. You have a Google Home. Courtney said, huh, I roll. Begatrix trivia time. Chris had the right answer. That's actually going to get a bonus point. Uh, Chris B., you have plenty. We actually have a Google in this room. We have a, yeah, Google. But and then we have a, Alexa. In, in other the other rooms. rooms. We have too many things listening. We have too many things listening to us at all times. All right, Chris, I just gave you another bonus point because that was a fantastic answer. It's Begatrix trivia time is what Alexa should say. All right, here we go. Question 22. A uh, home to an annual Trek Fest, Riverside, Iowa, claims to be the official future birthplace of what famous fictional captain? Lots of context clues. Looking for the name of a fictional captain, home to the annual Trek Fest, Riverside, Iowa, claims to be the official birthplace of what famous fictional captain? Jen's staring all like he needs more. I am going to talk like James T. Kirk. Uh, the correct answer is most of you got this. I go in Becky's answer. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine, Becky. I got you. Yeah, Julie, I agree. What? Um, what did the other day? The other day, Ellie said to me, like, hey, babe, I love you. And Alexa, and Alexa said, was like, I love you, too. Thanks. That's nice of you oh, to say. Oh, yeah. You wasn't talking to her. Yeah, I was not. Uh, the correct answer here is James Tiberius Kirk. James T. Kirk. If you just put Kirk, you got points. The only people that didn't get points are those who said Picard, Captain Picard, a, pic a fictional person, or Ames or Spock. Uh, everybody else got points. 91% of you, which is actually a social, so cheers. Question 23. What cabinet level position created in 2003 is last in the line of presidential succession? This is U.S. government. What cabinet level pos uh, position created in 2003 is last in the line of presidential succession? Uh, he was not this, okay. but yeah, kind of. Designated Survivor, now that Gina brought it up, if you haven't watched it, it's fun. Kiefer Sutherland, especially if you're a fan of 24, you get Kiefer Sutherland a little bit older. Uh, not so much as a secret agent, but just like a chill dude who all of a sudden is president. Yeah, Julie, great show. Uh, I can't get over, sorry everybody, um, f season one and season two were on cable tv season three was picked up picked up by netflix and they made a point they wanted it to be apparent that now that it was on netflix they could curse and they could have nudity so like season three out of nowhere everybody was cussing all of the time and there was nudity and we had mark green from er remember that mm -hmm. yeah yep 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 naked people are the best julie i agree uh, it is not the Secretary of Energy, not the kitchen, <laughs> U.S. trivia. I'm going to go with this one being Marcus's answer. Ugh, U.S. trivia, JK. Uh, as long as you gave me a keyword here, you're going to get points. I'm looking for <laughs> Trump until January. Uh, Homeland, Homeland Security, created in 2003. Last in the line of presidential succession. Number 24, meaning fox Ooh, pretty baby. in Spanish. Thank you. By what name is the fictional swashbuckler Don Diego de la Vega better known? I love this clip. Thank you. A word meaning fox in Spanish. What name would you better know 
the fictional swashbuckler Don Diego de la Vega. Bye. Bobby Kate, that was you. I love it. Goose. Matt, yes, you just nailed it. I couldn't watch a show about a dystopia because we are in one. Hell yes. Now we can watch anything we want. Foxes pouncing into the snow is the best thing. All right, the correct answer here is... Not Don Quixote, not Bebe, not Casabal, not Pancho Villa, not... El Jefe, this is Zorro. Zorro, that is a fucking adorable gift. Great job, me. Number 25. In Greek mythology, what specific item were Jason and the Argonauts seeking to find on a mission from King Peleus? In Greek mythology, what item were Jason and the Argonauts out to find sent on a mission from King Peleus? Oh. What does the thought say? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, let's get a karaoke night with Nick Payne. Mm. One of my favorite things. All right, everybody's in. Anchor man. Is that a trident? You should really, uh, do you have a relative you could stay with? The golden thingamajig. Uh, no, I'm not going to take that. The correct answer is the golden fleece. You should lay low. I love a lamp. Yeah, I feel like me and the Angelicas are on the same level of drinking right now. Uh, great job, everybody that put the golden fleece. This is a Jason and the Argonauts uh, mission. That's where we get the game, the Argonauts. Uh, not Hercules. Jason and the Argonauts got the Golden Fleece. All right. Here are the standings. The Angelicas, Artie and Winnie, are currently in first. Geralt of Trivia in second. Mary B is right there in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We're getting to the next round here in just a second. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Don't freak out, I'm back. All right, here we go. Final run of questions. We have six questions left. These are the same type of questions. You have to type the answer in. Uh, how many points are these worth? We'll find out. 300 points. Question number 26. Who holds the record? The longest tenured cast member in the history of the TV show Saturday Night Live. Oh, Nick Payne, I missed you too. 
I know. I wanted to get a good picture of his face. Somebody does need a haircut. What a cutie. Oh, I'm gonna shake it up. All right, question 26. Who holds the record? Longest tenured cast member in SNL history. Let's see how many different ways you spell this. It's not Alec Baldwin. It is not Daryl Hammond. It's not Tim Meadows. It's not Chris Farley, Eddie Murphy. I can picture him. Yeah, me too. Uh, if you give me a first or a last name, they're pretty distinctive here. The correct answer is Keenan Thompson. Keenan Thompson. He left Kel and he went off to SNL fame. Question 27. What is the name of the pioneering rock and roll band formed by Buddy Holly in the 1950s? You had Buddy Holly and who? What was the name of Buddy Holly's backing band in the 1950s? Who loves orange soda? I do, I do, I do, Nick, I do. Orange soda right now? Ooh. Nick is drinking orange soda? I think so, with a splash of... Well, vodka with a splash of orange soda. Yeah. Secret planning going on between Ali and Gina. No, Gina no. was in here with Taco. I, I was, was sitting here in silence. I was uh, in the bathroom doing my duty. That sounded dirtier Beauty. than it was. No, I was just number one, everybody. Number one. Uh, everybody's in. It's not Weezer. Uh, Rivers Cuomo wishes that it was. The correct answer here is. Ooh, you. I look just like Buddy Holly. The Crickets. Buddy Holly and the Crickets. <laughs> Duty. Thanks, Steph. Buddy Holly and the Crickets. All right. Most of you got this still. 67% of you. Number 28. What was the first non black and white film to win an academy award for best picture this is just another way of saying what was the first color film to win an academy award for best picture hmm. was the first swim first film to win the academy award for best picture that was not strictly in black and white can you restart the timer so i get it wrong yeah nick i got you What? No, that's okay. Go ahead, do your duty. Thanks, Mary B. <laughs> All right, everybody's in. Good guesses here. Wizard of Oz, Gone with the Wind, Snow White, The Artist, Hamlet, Cinema Paradiso, Rear Window. The correct answer is Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind. Um, Wizard of Oz was a close guess because it was up to the first thing award. Yeah, it was the same year, right? Mm -hmm. But it did win best. Like epic it, it only won best original score. Uh, Wizard of Oz, and technically a quarter of it was in black and white. Yeah. But it still would have been the first one not all in black and white. So good job, gone with the win. The correct answer, number twenty nine, <laughs> Table <laughs> Table Mountain, <laughs> is a flat topped mountain forming a prominent landmark that overlooks what African city? What city would you be in if you could look out and see Table Mountain as artistically rendered here? What city is Table Mountain overlooking? You should ask questions about movies that people have seen. We've seen half of Gone with the Way. You've seen all of it. I've seen half of it. We fell asleep. But that was like on... When did we start that? Fourth of July? Jesus. Yesterday? It could all be the same. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, I feel like Steph might have added some exclamations to this because I think she's she's been there. Uh, the correct answer is Cape Town, South Africa. Cape Town, South Africa. Next to Chair Island. Nice, John. Cape Town, uh, Table Mountain next to Chair Island. No, not right. Bring back the Pokemon. Bobby Kate, thank you. Oh, I love it. Some support for my Pokemon round. 
I got a lot of hate for that. So I appreciate the support. Number 30, what martial arts name means when translated from its original language to English, way of the sword? When translated to English, what martial arts name means way of the sword? Whoa, don't look! Just love the Pokemon round. Yes, Nick, you missed a Pokemon round. This is what you get. Emma added the exclamation points. Have you been there, Emma? She has been to South Africa, not Cape Town. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I've never I've never been to any Africa, let alone South Africa. All right, everybody's in. You know who wrote this question? Uh, My best friend, Andrew Bergoni. Yeah, who knows a little bit of this, which is kendo. He did a little training in kendo. Way of the sword. Uh, it's a derivation of derivation of a different word uh, from Japanese. Kendo meaning way of the sword. All right, one question left, and here it is. Question thirty-one. Most famous for the Jungle Book. Who was the first British writer to win the Nobel Prize for Literature? You can just give me a last name. That's okay. Cobra Kai. Yes. Yeah, Julie. Pokemon Round. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. I really enjoyed that Pokemon Round. And I knew that some people would like it. But the vocal people were the people who hated it. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like it. Yeah, I can't please everyone. And you know what? I live for Pokemon, so let's do it. Sarah, I remember you telling me that your boyfriend knew the Pokemon round, uh, and you did, like, the other round, which was music or, or politics. Pokemon round was not Chris's round. Yay, books! Yes! All right, everybody's in. It's not R.L. Stein. It's not Walt Disney. He did Jungle Book. That was This was actually the last film that Walt Disney worked on personally. Uh, the correct answer is, please give me a point, Rudyard, Coupli uh, Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling, the correct answer. All right, that is it for the questions tonight. So let me tell you what we have coming up next week. We have some fun trivia coming up. Let's look together. Uh, on Monday. Oh, actually, before we get to Monday, let me pull this up really quickly. There are a lot of people here tonight, so I want to let you know. We have a fun event coming up this Sunday, which is today's the 13th, so the 15th. Um, we have a fundraiser that actually is in support of a brand new rescue dog operation. It's called Dawn Rescue. <laughs> I love Stephanie Curtis. Pinto! Yes. You need Pinto. So these five dogs are who you can support by playing trivia with us on Sunday. It's at 3 p.m. Central Time. We have trivia, 3 p.m. Central Time. It is general knowledge trivia, just like we did tonight, but two differences. Number one, there will be a price of admission. You can purchase a ticket. There's a link on our Facebook page in the events column. But by purchasing a ticket, you can support these five dogs. We have Louie, a sweet, playful, one-and-a-half-year-old boy. Sammy so handsome a two-year-old eager to learn and i think this is a, cr a crowd favorite number three right here pinto small but mighty six years old and very cur curious in fourth we have forest 35 pounds of cuteness and lastly daisy beautiful and playful four-year-old my mom's childhood dog was named daisy Aww. So join us. Sunday, we have this coming up. Uh, again, this is the only event that you have to purchase a ticket for. It'll be Sunday at 3 p.m. But I want to reiterate, whether or not you love dogs and you want to support them, I talked with the organizer of this event today, and I confirmed there is a prize for first place on Sunday for this event of $200. It's a $200 first place prize. So if you're a trivia fan, even if you hate dogs, if you hate dogs, I don't like you. But if you hate dogs and you want to play trivia, join us. Sunday, 3 p.m., $200 first place prize. 
uh, and you'll help dogs even though you don't mean to. Uh, and then next week, we have a bunch of general knowledge trivia coming up uh, on Monday, on Wednesday, and on Friday. Monday and Wednesday is going to be at 7 o'clock. Friday is going to be at 9 o'clock. The following week, we'll have a fun schedule because of Thanksgiving, and I will post that online. So thank you guys all for the support. We are going to go over the final standings. If you're in first, second, or third, you're winning some Taco Bucks. I'll add it directly to your account before we leave. If you're in first, second, or third, let me know who you are. Give me your Bag of Tricks loyalty program number, and I'll add your numbers. Here we go. In first, <laughs> second, and third, the Angelicas, Artie, and Winnie. In second, can we get a name about here? Uh, a game all about Harry Styles. And in third, Geralt of Trivia. Steffi Star right there in fourth. SF Curtis in fifth. Thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, from me, from Gina, from Taco. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow, uh, Sunday. Sunday, only one day away. For Dawn Center only Support Trivia Night uh, at 3 p.m. That is it. Shoot me those uh, loyalty numbers in the chat here. Uh, otherwise, we will see you guys next time. Have a great night. Bye, guys.